This is to introduce tape number two of Awake and Sing. We have gotten just over halfway through the sanctuary songs, written and composed for the purpose of enlightening our people to the fact that the time was fulfilled when it was God's purpose once again to confront us with the message which he sent to us by Elders Wagoner and Jones in 1888 and for the decade following. He providentially placed in the hands of a young ministerial student in Australia some obscure manuscripts by the messengers of Christ's righteousness of two generations before, that is, Elders Jones and Elders Wagoner. The student studied the manuscripts and found his heart strangely warmed. He presented the subjects in his preaching assignments, and the response was amazingly receptive. Thus the sanctuary awakening was born and in a few years had essentially covered the world of Adventism. Robert Brinsmead was the modern-day messenger, and almost single-handedly, this brilliant, energetic, and self-sacrificing young Australian had shaken Adventism with his message as nothing else has before or since. From the vantage point of time, we are more able now to assess the Brinsmead phenomenon, and while the messenger has departed, the message lives on, someday to confront us again before the 144,000 can be developed. May God give us eyes to see and ears to hear that we may not repeat the tragedy of the past by once again failing to recognize the work of God as it came to us in the 1960s. To continue the music spawned by the awakening, for such it truly was in the 1960s, we pass on to another solo by Jim Hill, the choir, violin, organ, saxophone, and piano. The words are taken from Revelation 22, verse 14, where God pronounces a blessing upon those who do his commandments. Here is the song of that name, Blessed Are They That Do. 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 Blessed are they that do his commandments. Blessed. Blessed, blessed, oh, 
perhaps there is no other gospel song that carries the Adventist trademark, so to speak, to the same degree as the song, O Shepherd Divine, I Know Thou Art Mine, My Shepherd. Now we are to hear that beautiful song by Jim Hill, the choir, the violin, and the saxophone by the very composer himself, Herbert Work. Herb, along with his wife, Annis, was a courageous and able defender of the awakening message for many years until his recent passing, teaching music in denominational educational institutions for much of his life. He knew how to exercise tact and wisdom and love towards those who may have opposed him doctrinally. Greatly beloved of God and man, he rests from his labors, and his works do follow him. And so does his music follow him. And here is one of his best, My Shepherd.
One of the most faithful believers and supporters of the awakening on the West Coast was Brother Sam Swen. Sam was Taiwanese and intensely skilled in medical test procedures and in the Word. I first met Sam in 1964, and we became good friends. I last saw him when I visited his home in the San Francisco area about 1974 or 75. Sam passed away about a decade ago, but this recording of his singing voice lives on. There is a very interesting story to be told concerning the next musical number, and I cannot refrain from telling it to you. One night in the 1960s, Ruby Cummings, the wife and now widow of Elder Long Cummings, had presented to her in a dream a melody so hauntingly beautiful that she rose in the night to set it on paper, lest it escape her by morning. One day soon afterwards, she related the story to Robert Brinsmead, and Bob accepted the challenge of writing lyrics for the melody. The result was a song so beautiful, I question whether you can listen to it without moisture welling into your eyes. Add to this the expressive combination of the voice and rendition of the contralto voice of Helen Weiss, 
whom you have heard before. And you have a song that will touch hearts like few other things will. May the Spirit of God stir your soul as you now listen to the song, When Jesus Christ Was Crucified.
We turn to Jim Hill once again as he sings with organ accompaniment by Floyd Saylor, O Love of God.
We still have some unique Awake and Sing numbers left, but we're just about out of uh, space for this side, so we will turn over the tape and uh, proceed from there with further numbers. <laughs> ¶¶ 